ఇంటి మీద పాజిటివ్ డెమాన్స్ట్రేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లెక్సిబుల్ ఏసీ ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ బై యూజింగ్ టీఎస్సి సో ఈ టీఎస్సి నథింగ్ బట్ టైరిస్టర్ స్విచ్చింగ్ కెపాసిటర్ మీన్స్ వేర్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్విచ్ ఆన్ దిస్ కెపాసిటర్ వెన్ ఎవర్ ద పవర్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ల్యాగింగ్ వాజ్ డిటెక్టెడ్ బై ద మైక్రో కంట్రోలర్ సో దట్ ద మెయిన్ పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఈజ్ లైక్ వెన్ ఎవర్ వీ ట్రాన్స్మిటింగ్ ద ఏసీ దెన్ ఇఫ్ ఈస్ దర్ ఎనీ ఇండక్టివ్ లోడ్ వాజ్ ప్రజెంట్స్ ఆన్ ది లైన్స్ then automatically the power factor lags means the current away from lags so in order to lead that we need to add the capacitive load to the uh, respective inductive load in parallelly so that will be done by our uh, thyristor so here we are going to use that to on that and uh, parallel to the main inductive load so here we have interface that to the pc uh, pin number 671 of our pic 16f72 microcontroller and from the a0 a1 pins we are going to get the current wave form and voltage wave form reference voltages from the circuitry so whenever the current wave form was lags that will be identified by the time difference between the current wave form and voltage wave form by our microcontroller and we are going to switch on this thyristor in order to add the capacitor uh, load to the resistive and inductive load here so here we are using resistive load of 100 watts inductive load for 40 watts and capacitive load of 2.27 microfarad so these two will be in series and the series and uh, series of this inductive load will be done with the help of this switch and capacitive load is parallel to the r plus l load so r plus l in series and r plus l plus c these two are in uh, parallel so this is the current transformer we are going to provide the current waveform signals to the microcontroller for reference purpose and the so called status continuously displayed on our 16 by 2 lcd screen so let us see the demonstration so on the power supply to the load directly right so when it is high brightness was there then it's a indication of only uh, r load was present right now the only r load was present so when we off the switch then it's indication of l load will be added in series to the or r load so now it is the power factor is calculated and displayed on the lcd so when we on this then slowly the current wave from lags and that will be identified by our microcontroller and it will on the capacitor in series through the thyristor so we'll get the lagging over here right so already a uh, that uh, capacitor got switched by the thyristor and slowly that compensation will be done right so now the power factor compensated though we added the inductive load in series with the resistive load parallelly the capacitor got switched on so when we switch off this means now the loads are r plus c so when the capacitor is right now it is leading because r plus c is nothing but leading only so now it will be switched off again to compensate that again right now it is lagging again means when we uh, add the only resistive load so it's going to be the unity power factor near to unity power factor and whenever we switch on the inductive load so it comes down to below the 9 or 8 point h and then a uh, microcontroller will switch on the capacitor by using this thyristor then the power factor will be compensated near to one again and when we switch off this inductor then r plus c will be there that will be again leading to the power factor then automatically capacitor will be switched off with the help of thyristor by our microcontroller